Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about IPv4 and IPv6. And in case you're unfamiliar with the terms, that is Internet Protocol version 4 and Internet Protocol version 6. So the reason why you'd want to know about Internet Protocol, I mean, it's basically like we have to send data from one device to another, especially with multiplayer games, with social networking, with things like that. And what we currently do uh, a little bit is we take that data and then we slap on a mailing address and then we send it to that location through this network that we've created. And that mailing address is your IPv4 address in many cases. So this is the older of the two um, mailing addresses. IPv6 is taking over now since we're you know, eventually gonna run out of IPv4 addresses. Basically, um, in version 4, in Internet Protocol version 4, we have up to 4 bytes. Now, 4 bytes, it means we could have 256 times 256 times 256 times 256. It's like 4.3 billion possibilities, almost. Um, but that means that that's the maximum number of devices we can put into our network. If we want to increase that amount by a little bit more, and think about how many people we have on the world. You know, we're at about 7 billion already. So if every person had one device, that wouldn't be enough addresses. Um, if we want to increase the number of addresses in our network, then we're going to move to something called Internet Protocol version 6, which we've added sufficient data so that it's basically limitless possibilities. Um, the difference between the two is currently we have like NAT translation and things for our routers. That's not necessary with IPv6. So basically IPv6 is a longer address. We can fit more characters um, and we can fit more devices. So why does that matter? Well, let's say you're making your networked app. You're making a game, you're making something for uh, social networking, you're making something that's targeting a phone device. Phones, when they're using cell data, they can't use IPv4 because um, cell networks are transferring to IPv6 only support. That means if you try to connect to a server using an IPv4 address, it will tell you no, it won't work. So I've tried this, um, I set up my server, I've done it in the past by the way, and IPv4 used to work, but not anymore. Um, so I tried this, I set up my server, I tested it with uh, my own computer, I tested it with another computer in network, I tested it with my phone in network, and then as soon as I went to my cell data, I was confused because I can no longer connect to my server. And I thought, hey, you know, why is that a thing? And then I did some reading and I found out um, IPv6 support is what we currently need. So, um, I was using a networking solution and that networking solution, as far as I know, didn't have support for IPv6. So I started to do a little experimenting and I decided, you know what, I'm going to make my own networking solution. So let's share a little bit about um, what I'm doing behind the scenes. It's not out yet, but maybe in a couple of weeks it will be available. So we first have the um, main, I don't know what you would call this, roadmap for uh, networking communications. We start with creating a socket, um, bind it, listen, and then accept. And right here in the, in the middle, we have our communications between the client and server. And then at the end, then we will close. Um, for the client side, it, you start with a socket, you connect, and then you write and read and write and read, and then you close. Um, for IPv6, basically what we're gonna do is on the server side, we create a socket and then when we start listening we say let's accept anybody and then um, once we actually get a client then cool we're good for the client side uh, what we want to do is we'll create a socket and we will connect to a specific IP address and port number so um, if we're using an IPv6 socket then it has to be established as an IPv6 socket and we have to connect to an IPv6 um, address. If you try to connect to an IPv4 address with an IPv6 socket, I don't think that works. And then I know for sure if you try to connect to an IP6 with an IPv4 socket, that definitely won't work. So uh, I just wanted to bring that up because if your networking in your game or in your program works for IPv4, 
which is probably the default for most networking solutions, then um, you will have to change things if you plan on releasing this on a mobile app and you want people to connect with their cell data. If you didn't, then you'd have a networked app that can't be used by most of the population unless they're currently in range of Wi-Fi. So uh, this is an important topic and I'll talk about it in some videos to come, but for right now, that's all I have to share. Uh, remember, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get 100 subscribers so that we can have a custom URL up top. And then uh, if you like the video, feel free to drop a like. Uh, if you have any comments, I like to answer comments, so feel free to put those there as well. Um, again, there will be more videos in this series. We're going to be talking about um, how to create this like kind of server client communications and um, what that could look like. I'm also going to be reviewing my new networking solution. I'm not sure if it's going to be free or paid yet, but I can promise you it's not going to be expensive. So I'll see you guys in the next video.